Hey, what's going on guys? I wanted to bring you an update of the fish room because you guys have been on me about it. You guys are wondering what's going on. Uh, quite a bit, I guess, has happened, but nothing major. That's why I haven't really done a video in a little bit on the fish room. Um, I'll get into uh, why here in just a minute. So, um, I guess the biggest thing that's going on right now is I got some water in the fuge. Um, and I got the uh, MP10 doing work in there right now. Um, I don't have it filled up all the way because it's... Uh, I did a 35 gallon water change on the big tank and I dumped it all into the new refugium and I got it filled up to about where it is right now with uh, RO water and so the salinity doesn't match the rest of the system right now so I'm going to be dumping some regular, um, I'm going to be putting some reef crystals uh, salt in there to bring the salinity up to what the uh, rest of this system is that way when I put the refugium online it's just going to all kind of match. Um, most of the water in here is um, water change water, so we should be doing okay. Um, I was really excited to bring you guys a video that I got the Radions working, which right now they're running on the schedule, but I can't, I can't tell you how disappointed I am right now. I was, I was actually happy to bring you guys a video on the Radions, and when I was setting my computer up to show you guys how it was working, it's not fucking working again. Um, now the lights, even though they're running on the schedule right now, thank God, when I got these things hooked up finally to the EcoSmart Live, I just decided to take an hour and make a program. So thank goodness I did that, or else I'd be, once again, fucked by this website. So you can see here, it says offline. I haven't the slightest clue on how to get these lights back online so I can make changes to the schedule or light spectrums because what I wanted to do was to turn the intensity all the way up and put it on 10k so it's not so washed out in blue because right now according to the schedule it should be at about 14k right now I'm, I'm like I've had it I've had it and I'm not gonna buy the reef link I'm not gonna do it I shouldn't have to do it but I have no idea how to put these lights back online now and I've restarted my computer I've reset the uh, website again I've unplugged and plugged it back into my computer and unplugged and plugged it into either or light and nothing I'm just I'm so frustrated with these lights so anyways they're at least running a schedule right now but it looks like I'm never gonna be able to change them now again so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably end up ditching these radions I'm, I've just had it I'm done I'm done trying to fuck with it and I shouldn't have to buy another piece of equipment to make it work. Um, so anyways, that's that's that. Um, I thought I was cooled down enough to do the video, but apparently not. So anyways, the Radions are on a schedule right now, but I'm not going to be able to change them it looks like. So um, anyways, um, so I got the water in the fuge. Um, we're going to be getting that online here in the next couple of days. Um, last time, uh, about three weeks ago, I got the dry Pukani and I started to cycle it and I gotta say the cycle has been extremely 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 slow so let me show you what we got going on right now um, right now it's still just the rock in the same water um, the first couple of days that I put this rock in the water it stunk really 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 bad so I had a BRS media reactor laying around and I put a whole bunch of rocks carbon in it and I'm running it full bore out of here. I got this kind of breaking the surface of the water a little bit. I don't really know why. I feel like it's doing something, but it's probably not. Uh, every couple of days I come in here and I switch the position of this MAG-12 pump just to kind of get water circulating in different areas of this uh, of this water bin here to kind of switch it up a little bit. But in the three weeks, every week I have been testing the water and the ammonia is off the charts. Um, but there's zero nitrite and zero nitrate. Actually, I'm lying. There's zero nitrite. I haven't even bothered to test nitrate yet because I haven't made it past any part of the ammonia part of the cycle yet. Um, so I started using the uh, Aqua Vitro seed and I haven't noticed the difference using this. Um, it's still slow going. So what I have in the in the main tank, I bought this a while ago when this was going to start being a, uh, a reality, this fish room, is I bought a bunch of the, um, I think it's Marine Pure uh, Biospheres, the little golf ball looking pumice stuff, and um, I bought a whole bunch of that and I put it in the sump of the, of the big tank inside. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a handful of it and throw it into the bin with the uh, Pukani Rock and see if that will speed things up a little bit. 
but my plan is to use just that marine pier biosphere stuff and throw it in the sump over here and hopefully that'll be enough biological to kind of get everything up and running in here before I start dumping what feels like a million dollars worth of acros. Um, the sump water level is lower because I used some of the water that was in the sump to kind of fill this up a little bit as well. And um, the corals that are in here are doing all right, mostly akins, some zoas that have somewhat survived the big tank. <sighs> Other than that, not much going on. I'll give you a sneak peek here. Chaotic Acrylic really came through for me on this uh, frag rack for the frag tank. And that frag tank actually was um, donated by Chaotic Acrylic as well. So they've really, uh, they've really helped me out, and uh, we'll be getting into another video with that frag rack coming up. And um, so the reason why there hasn't been a whole lot of big things getting done, you know, I haven't gotten the apex yet. Uh, I don't have the new lighting system for the frag tank, and I'll get into that in a second. Is um, I need to install a mini split air conditioning system in this room. Um, since we've owned this house, it's been ducted in with the uh, central air conditioning of the home and it has been notoriously in the summer very very hot in here and in the winter very very cold now setting this up at the tail end of the winter it really hasn't been that bad in here the water was a little cold but i was able to combat that with um the mag 12 being in there because that thing's basically a heater and a pump in one so now that the summer's starting to come upon us we've been hitting a couple of 90 degree days already and in arizona um it's not rare to hit a 118 degree day in the summer so um, this room is going to get very hot and I was looking at the amp draw of the aquarium chiller and the amp draw of a dehumidifier and I would have overloaded the circuit of this room with the rest of the equipment so I can't do that and the most beneficial thing for me to do is to do a mini split air conditioning system which is a ductless mini split um, and it, they're expensive even though I'm an air conditioning contractor it's still very expensive for me to buy them so the mini split is going to be going up on the wall up there the air handler part of it and um, the condensing unit's going to go on the outside. I got to run a separate circuit from my main panel over here into a disconnect so I can get that all hooked up. So um, I haven't bought any other equipment for here because I got bigger things that I got to do with this room in order to make it work as a fish room. So that's where we're at with it right now. Um, and they're expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. So, anyways, that's what's going on in the fish room. I'm I am once again. I was happy, a little bit happier with the radions, but. I'm, I'm overall pissed off again. I'm, I'm so sick of it. I just I have no idea how to get them back online. And of course, the instructions that you get with them. I'm telling you guys, when you get a Radeon, get the instruction booklet and put it through a paper shredder because it gives you absolutely no information. So hopefully I can figure out how to get these lights back online because it's plugged into the computer. I'm not going to get into it. So anyways, um, that's the fish room, guys, this week. And... Uh, Hopefully we'll see you in the next couple of weeks. Oh, next week I'll bring you one. We'll have a fuge up and running by then. So uh, we'll uh, see you guys in the next one later on.